Morning. Uh, Hasty has, uh, like a lot of uh, companies around the world, been hit pretty hard by the global financial crisis and also locally the high Australian dollar. Um, Hasty has found itself in difficulty um, uh, renegotiating its debts with um, major banks around the world, the, the big four Australian banks, but other global banks uh, like uh, HSBC, for example. Um, uh, are mixed up here too. So um, the problem that Hasty has had is that um, last week when a uh, $20 million accounting irregularity, we in the media might call that an accounting black hole, was uncovered. And that's made it uh, very difficult, if not impossible, for uh, Hasty to renegotiate uh, with the banks to get themselves out of this mess. And so uh, over the weekend, administrators and receivers were appointed. And uh, this morning we're waiting for an official announcement to the stock exchange from Hasty to uh, get a bit of a better idea about the situation it's facing and importantly, what this means for those uh, 2,000 workers. And what about the big four banks? How large is their exposure? Well, it's looking like in Australia there, there's an exposure of around $250 million. Um, it appears the ANZ Bank has an exposure of $150 million, the Commonwealth Bank perhaps um, $30 million, but significant amounts of money. Um, banks are obviously very concerned in uh, getting out of this, but the, it does raise the prospect that the banks might ultimately be forced to have to write down um, some of this debt. So uh, there's a long way to go in this, but it has to be said that with administrators and receivers appointed to Hasty, um, things are moving uh, pretty quickly. And the company's been in trouble for some time, as you mentioned. It stopped trading last month. Its share price had uh, dropped dramatically in a year, hadn't it? Uh, yes, uh, Hasty shares closed uh, in April, uh, mid-April at uh, 16 cents a share and uh, that's a pretty far cry from the $2.30 uh, $2 52-week uh, high from around about this time last year, the 30th of May. So um, we've seen a 70% decline in the value of those shares as investors pretty much run for the doors amid those concerns about what's going on inside the company. And also this uh, $20 million accounting regularity, irregularity has um, certainly not put any faith in the company and the corporate regulator ASIC is um, understood to be taking a very close look at this, that the matter's been referred to ASIC to determine what has gone on and also to determine whether or not um, this might, may have been used to uh, uh, create a profit when in fact there was a loss um, in, in the next set of numbers. And uh, uh, Hasty uh, in December last year reported a half year loss of $150 million. So, of course, um, the, the, uh, the rot really did uh, start setting in from December last year. But it will be interesting, given the context of other uh, job cuts that we've seen just in the last few days and last few weeks, um, how many of those 2,000 hasty jobs can be saved?